So here we go, we're gonna get started. How we start is we're gonna take our mindful body. And what that looks like is we sit down, Presley, sit down on your bottom. Everybody sitting down, crisscross applesauce. And our mindful body. Do you think it's mindful if we're going like this? No. Do you think it's mindful if we're typing on the computer to our friends? Uh, no. Nope. So hands are going to be in our lap. And we are going to turn our ears on. Boop. Ears on. Turn our mouths off. Boop. And everybody's eyes on me. All right? This is our mindful body. This is how we're going to start each class. Crisscross applesauce. So we're going to give ourselves a big hug. Has anybody given themselves a hug yet today? No. No. So here we go. We're going to take a big breath in, stretch, and open wide. And hug yourself, breathing out. All the air out. Look at the arm that's on top. And we're going to open wide, stretch really big. And put the other arm on top, breathe it all out. And just really give yourself a hug, really squeeze. Give yourself a nice little squeeze, maybe a little wiggle. Thank you, body. Thank you, body. All right, hands up to the sky. And reach up, shake it out. Shake, 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 hands to the lap. Up, reach up. Shake, 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 shake. All right, here we are in our bodies. We're gonna do our mindful minute. It's gonna look a little different this time. Everybody's got their legs crossed. We're gonna round our back, and when we round our back, we exhale out. So it looks like this. We're gonna go. Can you make me this green? And then when we breathe in, we're gonna push our back open like this. No, All the way in and then out. Where are you going, man? And then other way. Breathe in. All right, so we're going to do that a couple more times. Me looking at you here. So rounding back, exhale. Okay. Inhale. One more time, exhale. And inhale. Come to the center, rock side to side. So notice what leg is crossed in front, and we're gonna switch the legs. Put the other leg in front. How does that feel? Does that feel a little weird to anybody? We get so used to doing it one way, we're just gonna notice how it looks the other way. and Just feel that, we're gonna stay with that for just a minute. And now we're gonna paint a rainbow, you guys. So we're gonna use our hands, they're gonna be the brush. We're gonna dip our hand in the paint next to us. I'm gonna ask a question, so you have to call and tell me. And then, Presley, what's your favorite color? Tell me again. Blue. Blue, all right. Everybody, dip your hand in the blue paint, and we're gonna paint the first color of the rainbow. It's gonna look like this. Stretch up, all the way over, feel that stretch. Come to the middle. Who else wants to give me a color of the rainbow? Uh, yes, Mason, right? No, my name. He's no. Corbin. 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 Give me a That's color. Mason over there. I'm Mason. Give me a color, guys. Hmm. Let me scooch over. Uh, oh, no. I no, know. I know. I know. Red, 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 red. Red. Everybody, dip your hand in red. Other side, right? We're going to do the other side this time, dipping our hand in red. Reach up, paint the rainbow. Come to the center. Now we're gonna do uh, purple, let's do purple. So other hand, dip it in, spread it out, reach up, over, reach, stretch. And one more, who wants to give me one more color? Lavender? Green. Hillary, it says, Hillary's iPad. Yes, that's me. Um, can we do the color pink? Pink, all right. I have three people. Dip the hand in the pink, and we're gonna reach up all the way over. Last time, feel that really big stretch here. Take a breath, and out, come to the center. 
Put your hands behind your back. If you can clasp hands, it's gonna look like this. We're gonna reach back and look at our beautiful rainbow we just colored. Look at that beautiful rainbow, so pretty. Good job, guys. All right, come back to center. We're gonna do dragon breath. This is one that I just got to learn too. So we're gonna come up. We're gonna come up to our knees like this. Everybody up to your knees. Dragon breath, one foot forward. So one knee and one knee's on the ground, right? And then we're gonna put our hands here. We're gonna take a big breath back, reach back. And then we're gonna reach forward and breathe out fire. Big breath back. And reach forward. Let's do that on the other side since it's such a good stretch. Put your other foot forward. One knee up, one knee down, hands here. Reach back, breathe in. And fire. All the way back, breathe in. And fire. All right, we're all warmed up. Back to our mindful bodies. Mindful bodies, crisscross, applesauce, hands in our lap. So we're talking today, our new topic today is on joy. And I know I've worked with a lot of you before, but do you guys know by shaking your head that there's a difference between happiness and joy? Do you guys know there's a difference? Does anybody know the difference between happiness and joy? Raise your hand if you think you know the difference. All right, uh, I, I don't know. Sarah, Sarah, I don't know your name, bud, with the hand up. Green shirt. Okay. Hold on, I can't hear you. Go ahead. Say it again. This is Harrison, but well, this is my mom, so it's Sarah. Thank you, Harrison. Um, um, this, this is yes, and this is no. Right. Do you know the difference between happiness and joy? No? All right, I'm gonna tell um, you guys. Joy is I can't hear you, buddy. Um, joy is like, is <laughs> I'm just gonna tell everybody, we're having some technical difficulties there. So happiness is something that happens on the outside. We can do things that make us happy, right? We can do a dance party if that makes us happy. We can read a book if that makes us happy. We can hug our friends if that makes us happy. Joy is something that's deep, deep on our inside. Joy is a feeling that we feel inside. How we get to that feeling most easily is we do something for other people. When you do something for somebody else, you get to that place of joy. It makes you feel really good. And that's what joy is the feeling inside. Does anybody know what a compliment is? Who knows what a compliment is? All right. Uh, Hillary, what's your, what, I know that's your mom's name. What's your name? Cora. Cora? Cora with a C. Cora, Cora, yes, awesome. Cora, what's, um, what's a compliment? A compliment is when you tell somebody something nice about them or funny about them or something cool or something you like. Absolutely. And when we give somebody a compliment, it, it makes them happy and it brings mm -hmm. us joy. We did something for somebody else. That's the feeling of joy yeah. that we get to feel. You want to tell Maybe if we, you, you help somebody with the dishes um, or you help um, clean up, that's um, the joy. You feel joy. You're making them happy and you get to feel the joy something on the outside. Does that make sense? Does everybody understand that? So we're gonna have some homework at the end of this one and it's gonna be a joy assignment, but we're not gonna get there quite yet. First, we're gonna wake up our wise owl. Um, so a couple of you weren't here yesterday, so I'm just gonna give you a quick little brief tutorial of what we talked about. We have two, these are my two friends here. Alan. These are my two friends here. This is Bully the Bulldog. And this is Swoops the Owl. Alan was Let me tell you something. I'm going to put everybody on mute I, so that everybody I, can hear this. All right. Bully the Bulldog and Swoops the Owl. These two guys live in our brains. They're two parts of our brains. Bully the Bulldog is here to protect you from your big emotions. 
whenever you're feeling scared or angry or even happy and excited, what ah. bully comes out and he's in your brain like, ah, right? Swoops is here. Swoops is the person who uh, calms you down, helps you make wise choices, helps you grow. So what happens really quick, let's take our hands here. Bully the Bulldog lives back here in the back side of our brains. So everybody repeat after me, back of the brain, bully the Bulldog. Back of the brain, bully the Bulldog. Awesome, so this is where bully the Bulldog lives. Swoops lives right here in our forehead. And this is how we wake up Swoops. We give it a little tap, wake up Swoops, wake up Swoops. Wake up, Swoops. Wake up, Swoops. Awesome. I'm going to re-go over that lesson tomorrow, but that's all we're going to get to today because what we're going to do right now is we're going to need Swoops. We're going to need Swoops to help us out in these little exercises we're going to do. So wake up, Swoops. Everybody wake up your Swoops. Help you make wise decisions. Help you grow. And we're going to do a couple exercises. We're going to stand up. Everybody stand up. And these are just going to be a little crossing over our body exercises. So we're going to start with our hands up. Let's reach up and take a breath in. And then we're going to take our right hand to our right knee. Just tap. Take your left hand to your left knee. Tap. Take your right hand to your left knee. We're going to go across. Tap. Left hand, right knee. We're going to go across. Tap. Try right foot, right hand from behind. It's gonna go tap. Left hand, left foot from behind, tap. Now we're gonna go right hand, left foot from behind. So we're gonna cross over in the back, tap. Left foot, or sorry, left hand, right foot, across in the back, tap. All right, come back to the center. We're gonna do that one really quick. Try to stay with me. Everybody up. Let's see who's got their wise owls working. Here we go. Right hand, right knee. Left hand, left knee. Right hand, left knee. Left hand, right knee. Right hand, right foot. Left hand, left foot. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. All right, big breath in, come all the way up. Come all the way down, just forward fold, hang down. Just feel the stretch all through the backside of your body. Give it a big stretch, little side to side. We're gonna do one sun salutation. So we're gonna come, uh, Presley, come on, I know you know how to do this. Reach all the way over. We're gonna take a deep breath in, come all the way up. Reach all the way up. Thank you, sun. Come to your center here. So sun salutation all the way around. Breathe in. And now we're gonna, it's raining all the way down. It's partly sunny. We're gonna come halfway up and stretch our back. Breathe in. And out. And all the way up to the center. We're gonna do our tree pose. This is really great for balancing. Let's wake up our wise owl first. We're gonna need some wise owl help so that we can balance. Here we go. Big strong tree, our roots are planting into the ground and then we're gonna raise. Let's do our right foot first. You can either raise your foot to the heel like a little kickstand. You can bring it up to here or if your wise owl is really awake and going, you can bring your foot all the way up here. Ooh. Now listen guys, what helps with this? Find a spot on the floor that doesn't move. That's called your dristy, your dristy spot. I know all my Richland kids already know this. We always have a dristy. You know Find a spot that doesn't move, keep your eyes on it, and it helps you to balance. Wise owls up and running, but take a breath in. Out, and now we're gonna lift our branches, growing nice and tall, hands all the way up. Breathe in. Wait, where's your teacher? And now guess what, it's a windy day. It's a windy day. Wise owls gotta stay really awake. Get your balance, get your balance. Take, take your breath, breathe in. And out, we'll come to prayer. 
No. You got to do that on the other side. Everything we do to one side, we got to do to the other. Wake up our owl, wake up our owl, help us with the other side. One side's always easier than the other side too. So if you remember, hands to prayer to start. You can either kickstand, halfway up or all the way up. Find your balance, find your dristy, find your spot on the ground, pull your foot up, find your spot, take a breath, and out. Row your branches nice and tall. Find your dristy, you're gonna fall. Find your dristy. The best thing is, is when we fall, we have to give ourselves a giggle. Nothing's too serious in yoga. It's all fun. Stretch. Out. And guess what? It's a windy day. Swoops. Help us out. Swoops. Whoa. Get your branches going. Branches going. Branches going. Breathe in. And out. Down. One more big breath in. Here we go. Breathe in. All the way down to the ground. Let's take our mindful body. Take our mindful body. Everybody down. How do you feel in your body right now? You feeling good? Let's just put our hands on our heart for a second. We're gonna do a little meditation. It's just gonna be about one minute. And let me see, who can tell me why we do our meditation? Does anybody know why we like to do the meditation at the end? Uh, I think it says Jenny Davis. Do you have your hand up? Go ahead, sweetie. Did you want to say something? That, so that way we can be calm and more energized. That we can be calming or energized. All right, awesome. Who, raising your hand, who remembers how many thoughts we have every day? How many thoughts do we have every day? Kaden, I'm waiting to hear from you. It feels good. Okay. Uh -huh. Here we are. Kaden? Um, 70,000 thoughts. 70,000 thoughts every day. Hold on, Kaden, one more question. How many thoughts do you think we have every minute? 45. 45, A plus Caden. All right. So guys, we, there's 60 seconds in a minute, right? Everybody knows 60 seconds in a minute. 45 thoughts in a minute. Do you know what that means? It means this, we're having a thought. We're having a thought. We're having a thought. We're having a thought. Our brain is so busy right? Whose brain is so busy? Whose brain is always running, right? We have to give our brain that little break. That's why we do our meditation. And because it's always running, we give it something to focus on so that you just have a little break. So what we're going to do is focus on the breathe in, breathe out. Try to see if you're, you can have your brain only think, breathe in, breathe out. For one minute, guys, we're gonna try it. Who thinks that they can have their brain only think, breathe in, breathe out for one minute? Let me see your hand. Who thinks that that's gonna be easy? Who thinks that that's gonna be impossible? <laughs> All right, we're gonna give it a try. So find your mindful bodies. Take a deep breath in so we can feel our body. And out. I'm gonna ask that you close your eyes. And remember, we do this so we're not with all the outside distraction. Nobody's, everything that's going on outside is gonna be there when you open your eyes. So for one minute, this is a chance for you to go inside your mind for one minute. So nobody, nobody messaging on the screens. Everybody find your spot. One minute, here we go, eyes closed. Breathe in. Breathe out. When you breathe in, follow your breath in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feel the breath come in through your nose. <laughs> like it wasn't working. Feel the breath come out. Feel the breath go in. Feel the breath go out. 
And now for the next couple seconds, I'm gonna be silent. Just see if you can keep your thoughts on breathe in, breathe out. All right, let's take the deepest breath. Hold on, you guys, listen. When we when we do the meditation, when it's- Do you know how I'm gonna do? Who's- Leave meeting, yes I do. I don't see anybody's screen. Okay, when we're doing those meditations, guys, please leave your mute on. Because even if you don't wanna do it, when you start talking, you take it away from everybody else who wants to do it right? And we want to give this to our friends. We're all friends here. This is our group. This is where we get to come and be together every day. We don't want to take this away from somebody. If we don't want to do it, that's, that's cool. You know, that's for you. Feel free to go crazy back here, but you must keep your, your screen on mute because there's a lot of kids who do want to do it. And we want everybody to get that chance. Good. Thumbs up if everybody understands that. Awesome. So the question now is, who was able to keep their mind on only breathe in, breathe out? Theo? I did. I you did it? You were only thinking breathe in, breathe out? Mm-hmm. Was it hard? Yes. <laughs> uh, what's your name again? Cora. Cora, you were able to do it? Yes. Yes? How about... Um, all right, I'm gonna get you two in the pink. What's your name? A melody. Lindsay? Melody. Melody, you were able to do it too? Awesome. And is your name Lavender? Yes. You were able to do it too? Yes. All right, how about this? Who was definitely not able to do it? Whose brain was like, what am I gonna have for lunch? Is this not been a minute yet? I wanna get up and go. I wanna do something else. Is this almost over? Who was thinking that? All right, Becky's kids. That was going on with you guys? <laughs> Do you wanna share anything you were thinking about? No, most people don't. <laughs> All right, so that's the practice, right? We try to give our brain something to focus on so we can give it a little break from all the craziness that's going on out there. And then remember, when the bulldog comes out, we're gonna have this lesson again tomorrow. So come here tomorrow if you missed yesterday and come here tomorrow even if you were here yesterday. But when the bulldog comes out, we have all of these feelings that are going on in our body, right? Sometimes it's a like happy joy, sometimes it's angry, sometimes it's sadness. When we need to calm down, we just take our deep breaths, we wake up swoops, and then we get to stay in control. Do you guys remember dragon breath that we did earlier? That's a fun one we can always try. So here's your homework assignment for today. I want everybody's eyes on me who's here. You have a homework assignment today. You're like, what? We have enough homework, right? So Joy, you are to make something for somebody in your house. You can make them a card, you can make them a craft, you can make them whatever it is you wanna make them. Use your imagination. Make something for someone. Don't tell them that you're making it for them, right? Maybe write a little note in there. And then when you're done, give it to that person. And I want you to notice how they react, right? Because you're going to bring the happiness to them and how you feel. You're going to feel that joy of doing something for somebody else without being told or without it being their birthday or without it being a special occasion. You're just going to do it because we want to do it. Does that sound good? Everybody think that they can do that homework assignment? Thumbs up. And then tomorrow in the beginning, we'll just talk about how you felt. And that's how we're going to decide. We're, we're going to see the difference between joy and happiness. We're going to get to actually feel it for ourselves. Awesome. All right, I have a couple 